Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls uh, series. Man, we still got to work on this roof. So there's some stuff I want to do uh, over the next few episodes. It's been quite a long time since I've recorded. Now, um, just trying to figure out where we kind of left off. Let's take these. Let's go with bringing this. I'm probably going to want... Actually, I'm going to take a couple of these guys with me. Like, I'm loaded up with stuff here that we can sell to the traders. Got all our money with us. Motorcycle in the mini bike. I think I had those here because I wanted to place them back down on the ground. Oh, we were going to sell these. Right, that's what it was. All right, we're going to sell those too. Uh, let's get over here. But before we go today, um, so it's been like probably two months since I recorded with this series. So I'm kind of trying to figure out where I was at. So I watched the last episode, so I know we started this concrete before the horde. We got the steel done in here. Let's get this stuff out of here. Um, so what I want to do, I think, before we go... That's enough for repairs, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's check and see how much we've got in here. Alright, we've got a stack and a tiny bit. So my quest today is to try and work on getting that multi-tool. It's been like ridiculously long. Now, I do know where Eve, the seasoned uh, explorer or veteran or whatever, Trader Eve is uh, on this map. Um, we have a look at the map here real quick. So this was the map that um, Jerudo played on. And I think he started off, where was it? Over here somewhere? It was his town, I think, was up here or something like that. I mentioned in the episode that we went traveling looking for traders. So I kind of know where he was. But apparently where we need to go is like down here somewhere. There's the snow biomes over there, down there. Um, I'm not going to go through the wasteland, I don't think. I'll probably go down and around this way. We'll try and pick her up at this town and head out this way. And go to the snow biome and talk to Eve, because she's the one that starts the Darkness Fall End quests. Now, I don't think she's going to have a multi-tool down there. I'm not even sure if she's got an inventory or not. Um, but we're going to go down there. We'll see if she's got a multi-tool, sell some stuff to her, um, and then um, we're going to head out and do the quests that she assigns to us, which are um, designed to start the end game stuff for this. Go ahead and use that. And I'm going to bring with me a few things. So we're going to need... Uh, actually, before we go, I want to do something here. We've got a ton of AP 9mm ammo. So what I want to do... On a different playthrough that I'm playing, I'm really enjoying... Uh, so that's the M4. These are all coil, right? Yeah, I'm really enjoying using an SMG. And we're going to make a couple of them here. We need those, we need those, we need... I'm going to have to make some parts here, I guess. Oh, maybe not. No, we are. We need auto rifle parts. And we need the AK. Let's grab you. I'm going to make another M4 to bring with us. So we're going to need to make two. I need mechanical parts then. I'm going to need steel. Uh, we need to make two AK receivers. So those are the coil sniper receivers. Receivers. We need two. Right, I'm making make two or three. Let's make three SMGs. We'll try and make a level 80. So let's craft that. We need pistol parts, which I've got two, so we can get one of those. Um, and what else do we need? Auto rifle parts. I need three. Well, that was an auto turret going off. Did I not close the doors? That's a wandering horde. Or is it just an idiot? 
Just one idiot, I think. Oh, you. Come on, get up. I thought we checked this bag. Did I just not... Oh. Local riffraff, I guess. Alright, so I think I'm going to change up my loadout. We're going to go with the SMG. Um, and I think I'll probably, rather than taking the M4, I'm going to take a coil rifle because we can stack the ammo higher. Now, we can go ahead and do... Uh, i got to think about what I want to do here. Yeah, so let's drop you off. And the ammo. I want to keep the shotgun on me. I like the shock, the shock value on it, but, hmm. Hmm. Let's grab a pair of those. Let's grab that stuff. Okay, let's do this. Um, Give me a second, I'm gonna get things sorted out and I'll be right back. Alright, well I'm noticing I'm behind on a lot of things. I thought I had Master Farmer. I should have checked my skills as I started, but I realized I don't have Master Farmer, which means I can't make an SMG. Which is fine. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock with the coil weapons today. Uh, that way we only need to take one stack of ammo. I'm gonna leave the shotgun behind, taking two coil rifles fully maxed out. Grab the coil sniper fully maxed out. We had one skill point after last night. And I dropped that into, uh, this is my rifle, so we got another point on that for sniping. Just waiting for these guys to finish up here. We got some barrels creating, like, generating here too, so that's the AK receiver. Right, so I'm gonna put this stuff away. Uh, once I get this stuff done, we're ready to drive out of here. Then, um, I'll come back. I'll get the bike loaded up and make sure we're ready to go. Alright, well I think I've got everything I'm going to need. I know I'm probably forgetting something. I was sitting here thinking, why am I moving so slow? And I forgot that we lost a bunch of stuff. I'm missing a lot of gear because of the bike mishap. We lost everything in our tool belt. So we're going to rock with Coil Sniper, which I made a couple of and was able to merge them together. We got a 72 Coil Sniper. We got two Coil Rifles, a crap ton of ammo, we got gas for the bike, repair kits if we need them. Plaster cast just in case. Two first aid kits, a lot of water and food. Got our grenades because, just because they're grenades. Um, I want to try and pick up an impact driver too so I can kind of get rid of both of these and just use the one. Because the impact driver doubles as both. And we're looking for the multi tool. So, um, I think that's it. I don't think we need to take anything else here. Um,. Yeah, like, what do we got on you mod-wise? We could put a Blessed Metal mod on you. We have one more slot available, so let's go ahead and do that. Modify you. Let's put the foregrip at the end, put the Blessed Metal here, because that way if we repair it and it degrades and we lose one slot, um, we're not losing the stuff we want to keep in there. If the foregrip goes, so be it. All right, let's reload that. Okay, so the one thing we do need to do is work on getting more pages to get mastery books because we are There are several things that I want to master out here. So we don't we need farmer Hunter is not quite a big deal Although it would give us a better better uh, rifle When we craft them that's done. That's done Scat Yeah, we got a lot of things that aren't done still so We need to find pages So we keep my eye out for libraries today that we can quickly raid. So we got survivalist. Yeah, so is it... I think it's Hunter that gives us the extended clip mod, right? Yeah, extended magazine. Not clip. Apologize. So yeah, extended magazine mod. So that's really what we want for all the weapons as well as the armor shredder that we have on there. But I think we're okay. I think we'll do just fine here. Um, he says in a reassuring tone, hoping that things go well and, and doesn't get killed. Halfway across, well, all the way across the map, not halfway. All right, let's get rolling. Let's get this party started right. We'll probably get to that biome probably closer to nightfall. 
taking the mo yeah it's almost nighttime now so I'm taking the motorbike uh, we'll put this down actually we'll put this down here in case of birds taking the motorbike I'm feeling pretty sluggish right now I don't have full mobility it's kind of freaking me out um, but we'll take the motorbike down and hopefully we find Eve quickly so we can get those quests now I know there's a turbo mod for the motorcycle that makes it go even faster which I thought about making and dropping in but as you can see here it's like when I first start up it gets chunky and loading and stuff so I mean we already crashed once out in the uh, wasteland I don't want to crash again so I'm trying to you know mitigate my speed so the game's not like chugging and loading my machine's not the fastest machine in the world I mean it's okay but uh, yeah that's the reason why I don't put it in so Alpha 20 for 7 days to die is coming out pretty soon, probably the end of the month, so like another half a month from now, um, from when I'm recording anyway. And, um, who is is SR1, or he's Wandering Trader's not here anymore I don't think. But uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to have all that I'm doing with Darkness Falls finished by then, so that I can start playing Alpha 20. I watched one of the dev streams um, showing how they've revamped City Generation. And it's pretty impressive, I gotta say. It's like 15 or 20 steps up from what it is right now. Like random map gen is like amazing now for cities. Um, you know, dotted lines on the street, stop signs. They've set it up in tiles so that it can be completely randomized. Uh, the tiles are dependent on, you know, where, um, the tile is laid out in the city so you'll have your industrial districts you know you'll have your uh, downtown core districts like shopping district you'll have your um, residential area you know urban like urban residential and then just like you know country country residential uh, there's like a ton of tiles and apparently they can be duplicated and um, altered and re-entered back in so all those all the people that are wanting to do mods just gonna have a field day with it. Hey guys! Ow! He didn't actually do any damage. Oops. I guess I should probably not run into that. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. I guess that was the starting of a wandering horde. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, as I was saying, uh, they, so they have a bunch of that stuff, and then they've also got some of the tiles have like sewers and stuff in them. They don't all have sewers, but some of them have the ability to kind of go in the sewers and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. I think a lot of the uh, people who are doing uh, POIs independently uh, are going to add a lot of underground stuff, which I think could be really, really cool. They've revamped a lot of the POIs. I think they said they had 100 and, is it 140 new POIs and then revamping a bunch of, of a bunch of the older ones to fit within the new tile set. So that should be kind of cool. Um, yeah, so they've got like you know a whole bunch of new stuff with regards to the look of the game. Uh, there's a few things that they've added to smooth out the progression in early game. I'm still not a big fan. They, they, they're keeping these, the same old um, ability and stats thing. So you've got your, you know, your, your strength, your intellect, all those things. And then your skills are based under those. To me, it's just a, it's a gating system that I'm not 100% thrilled on, which is one of the reasons why I like Darkness Falls so much. The the progression is left completely up to you where you want to go with it you know you can play with uh, individual classes if you want or you can choose to not have any class at all and just try and play the game that way which I think was what my next Darkness Falls series is going to be it's going to call it no class and then not have not take any classes at all just uh, um, go with just the stock skills see how far we can get but um, yeah so that's one of the things I don't like about regular um, darkness or not regular uh, seven days to die, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely going to play the original alpha. I'm just, I'm really just going to be looking forward to it going stable so that Kane can uh, get um, the next version of Darkness Falls uh, up and running for um, Alpha 20. That'll be cool, and then I'll probably just switch over to that. And I'll probably check out a bunch of the other mods too. I've been watching some of the other YouTubers playing different mods for the game. Some of them I find interesting, some of them I don't have any interest at all. Like the Dark Sorcery mod for me is like, eh. I 
apparently it works it, it will work with darkness falls but it's like yeah I I'm not, don't really find it that exciting there are some vehicle mods that apparently that work with darkness falls that add different vehicles to the game which I totally I'm totally behind so I'm probably gonna um, if it gets updated for the next version install those mods I'm not stopping for that bag um, but yeah, uh, anyway, I'm just going to finish driving out there and then hopefully we get to that snow town before nightfall. Although something tells me that's not going to happen. Making a sneaky pit stop here at the uh, Krishna temple. There is a, uh, if you don't know, this POI here. I think it's the Krishna temple, but it's like right in the front here there's a hidden stash. <laughs> you can just quickly grab. Whoever developed this one, like created this one should just get rid of that because that's uh it's a little too it, once you know it's there it's a little too easy all right we're going south we don't want to be going south let's find the map here where are we um i missed my turn off fuck it we're going cross country excuse me all right now if i'm not mistaken is this bob up here in this town i think it's Trader Bob. I want to try and empty the bike out because I can't get any of my backup gear. Oh yeah, this is another one of those POIs that I want to do. There's so many of these large POIs now that we're at the like late stages of the game. These would be awesome to go into. And I want to do that before the series is over, but I also want to finish the end game content, so I'm going to work on doing that first, I think. Oh, this is Jen. We're going to work on doing that first, I think. Finish up the end game content. And then if I got time, I'll do those, do the other ones, but I don't know if I will or not. Alright. Um, gas you up. Sorry, Jen, I'm just here for a minute. Sorry for my foul mood. My coffee maker's on the fritz again. You know, I redesigned your compound. Oh, I can't, I can't sell those. I redesigned your compound, you know, so that your coffee maker wasn't on the fritz. Uh, shit, I should, I should have drank one of these guys. Oh well, no big deal. Um, yeah, we'll just sell this stuff. And GTFO. All right, well that gives us some more room in the bike. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Yeah, maybe. The series is almost over, so I might be back. I might not. All right, let's put this stuff back in here. Coin, stuff to sell. Those guys, for whatever reason, I guess we could throw that in there. Let's throw s these guys until we get down there. All right, let's get rolling. Now, where's that main road? Um, oh, straight ahead. Perfect. So there was another set of maps um, that were that somebody created using King Gen for Darkness Falls, and the large so all, the, all of them the, the cities are much like tighter packed together. They had, like stop signs in the corners and things like that. They did a really really good. I can't. I don't. I don't think it was Kane. It was somebody else. I think that made them. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job with the maps, and I'm really enjoying like, like in my offline plays, going like playing on those maps. I didn't play on this one because I didn't want to like, ruin like know where everything is. Wait, is this just ending here? Oh fuck sakes! I guess we're going cross country again, and this is not the best map to be doing that. One thing about those King Gen maps, um, the alternate Darkness Falls maps that were uh, created, is there the terrain is relatively smooth. Oh, there's a road over here. Nice. Ah, oh, there was a road. What the hell? Oh, I'm just taking a shortcut. But yeah, the the off-road stuff is pretty darn smooth. So uh, traveling cross country in a motorcycle is relatively easy. There's no way I'm taking the car down here. It's like the motorbike is just so much faster. It kind of defeats the purpose of having like a vehicle mod installed if the terrain that you're you're riding on is like too bumpy to drive across it. It's like, well, why have a vehicle mod installed then if you can only drive on the road with it? You know, it, it, I mean, it makes sense logically, but in a game sense, it's like, 
you, you know you make a cool car like the one that we have but then can't drive it anywhere because it's just too unwieldy it's just so much easier to drive the motorcycle so why use the car but some of the like the mod that I saw I can't remember the name of it and forgive me forgive if the mod developers watching this forgive me but um, there's so many different varieties like there's actual heli proper helicopters um, military vehicle truck like a like a uh, like a long nose um, uh, 10 wheel truck uh, to, to hook up to a trailer which obviously doesn't exist but it's kind of cool uh, you know, like a little van variety of different hot rods um, some of the some older type cars uh, pickup truck varieties of motorcycles um, and they've all got different stats too. Some of them like have more hit points. Some of them are faster. Some of them are better off-road. Uh, let's go this way. Things like that. So it's kind of cool, right? And if that mod gets updated along with uh, Darkness Falls for um, Alpha 20. Can we get up here? Sure can. Then I'll be installing that. I mean... Alpha 20 supplies the ability to um, color your vehicles, but it's not really... Um, I think there's a couple of mods you can add to the vehicles too, but you know it, it doesn't add much variety in, in a vehicle sense. I'm sure later on they might do that, but right now the, the uh, mod community has done a really good job with some vehicle mods, so I'll just install one of those. All right, we're coming up on a desert here. We're heading back north. I think this road kind of goes north a bit because we've gone around the wasteland now, but then I think there's a fork that goes off to the right. Should probably check where we are. Yeah, I think it just kind of goes up here. I think there's a town up here, and then I think it forks off to the right and goes out that way and I think that's where the snow biome is yeah it's weird um, I've gotten so used to playing Darkness Falls now without having a watch that I don't even miss it like I, I don't miss not knowing what time it is you just do a quick look up like that and I know like I'm like two minutes into the evening right I got 15 minutes of night I'm two, two minutes are done I'm good <laughs> I'm good you know it's 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 so weird. And then Horde Knights, I'm not even worried about when the end of Horde Knights going to be now. Alright, I think we're close to where we got to be. Ah, uh, shit. I want to raid this place. Wait, this is the big... There's a Bernie in there. I thought this was the small one. It's not. As much as I want to raid it. Not at night and not right now. So that's... Burnt biome. We want to be going this way, so I'm going to go... Ooh, maybe not. There is a road over there, though. Nah, it's nighttime. Let's not do that. I could be stupid, but I'm not going to do... Oh, I am stupid, but I mean... Ooh! Um, but I want to be that stupid. Okay, so it looks like there's the town up here. I don't know. And I think those mountains over there, I think that's wasteland. Or burnt. But I think just up here somewhere, before we go into the burnt biome, I'm going to refuel here. Um, I think just up here somewhere there's the turnoff. Ah, I'm not. I don't know this map as well as I think I do. I'm having flashbacks to my Blasted Oasis series now <laughs> with this biome. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, adding that fog mod was the best thing I did. I love that. I gotta say, the nighttime fog, it just rolls in. Just makes everything so much scarier. I wish they had, like, 
I don't know. Like, I mean, I know the mod, the mod develop, like, uh, mod developers are doing it, but I wish they had like control of that right in the game. Like, you know, atmospheric fog, how close you want it, how far away you want it. You know, based on the biome that you're in too. So you could say, you know, oh, fog in the um, the burnt biome. Oh, I guess now it's just it's going to be wasteland and burnt at the same time. It's all one biome now. Ooh. Um, will be X amount, right? So, like, during the day, it's, like, set to five, so it's, like, you know, five chunks away or something as the far as you can see, and then at night it's set to one chunk or something like that. Alright, we're out of that. Now, there should be... Oh, hey, there's one of my revamped traders. Yeah, I knew it. I installed, like... I revamped the traders and I knew if I had gone far enough to one I hadn't gone to that it would show up as the revamped one loaded into the game and there it is they're just changed slightly that guy's glitching out like crazy they're just changed slightly they're not like massive changes okay so this town just quickly go in and see this guy I did a video on how I changed it. I mean, it's very, it's ever so slightly, but it's just really to kind of give it an, a, a look overhaul. Right? And I removed the uh, guard captain from down there and put him on inside the house here. So there's a little bit of protection, like right here by the bendo. Alright. Um, yeah, I, oh shit, I got stuff to sell you, but it's in the bike. So yeah, it's just like, it kind of makes it look like he lives here. Oh, bookshelves. Got a few things here. Definitely use those. What are you guys shooting at? Clear on that side. So fucking loud I can't hear the zombie. Oh, there they are. Run, shot. Where else are they? It's not that guy. He's too far away. So I think if I was going to adjust the trader guards, I would adjust how loud their weapons fire. Maybe it's something that you can't adjust, but it is one of the things I would do. Adjust the volume. Ooh, we can sell that. I'll take your gunpowder. And your lead. And your concrete. Nice. So yeah, these traders really don't have much more than what they had before. Some of them I lost the... Uh... What are you shooting at? Doesn't sound like he's hitting a piece of wood or something, so he spots somebody somewhere. It's probably in one of the buildings. Alright, um... Let's sell that. Now, I don't think you got anything we definitely need. Schematics we're short on. I want to wait till we get out there, though. I don't want to be spending too much money here. Anyway, we know where this guy is, so... Go ahead and mark him on the map here. And we're going to call this guy. This is Joel, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, there's not, like, I mean, put bunks for the uh, guards and stuff. Buddy, what are you shooting at? Oh, it's. Yeah, it is you. Oh, there's somebody in there. Well, let's not uh, cross his line of fire. Oh, it's the guy over here. Whatever. We gotta get the hell out of here.
Alright, we're looking for the main road now. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. Take this out of town. Yeah, so the tile set's in Alpha 20. They allow for, like, main roads and stuff, so... The road will look like this outside of the city. And then inside the city, it'll have dotted lines and everything. There's, like, connectors and stuff for when it like, kind of comes into the city and all that. It's pretty cool, I gotta say, how they've laid it out. Shotgun Messiah. All right, now, uh, if this is where I think it is, I think we just go up here a little bit. And then there should be a turnoff, like a solid road turnoff on the right, up out of town here. Road to nowhere. It's in the green biome, I believe, where the turnoff is. Yeah, so the aesthetic trader revamps that I did, the only trader I didn't do is the one that we're actually going to, Trader Eve. I wasn't sure, well, she's not really a trader, but um, I wasn't really sure which file that was, so I didn't mess around with it. I mean, I guess I could have kept looking to see if I could find it, but I wanted to do the stock ones plus uh, Caitlyn's. Trader Caitlyn's is... The revamp is a little better, her compound's a little more protected because it was supposed to be in the wasteland, so... I mean, it, the zombies can still slice through it like paper, but it's got a little bit more protection than it had before. And it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. I find that the traders are like... Just lacking in character. Ooh, that's a big, uh... That's a big drop. Let's go this way. I don't think we're climbing that hill. Yeah, apparently all this stuff is supposed to disappear the next generation, like the next uh, world gen, all those big drops and stuff disappear. Okay, here's the snow. So this is the... Did we find the right way there? Is this the right town then? Maybe I'm further down than what I thought I was. I think... Yeah, there's the Space Needle. So who I'm looking for is just over here somewhere. On the edge of town. There should be a plating remnant here somewhere and then I think it's this way yeah I'm cold I know it's my heart I have a cold cold heart I think it's right up here this little tower right there I think is it I think we can start our uh, quests from here yep yeah, this is it it has it like there we go now it's drawn in there you are. Finally. Alright, let's get in and talk to you. Now we could check. See if we got... Oh yeah, we got stuff in the bike. Let's bring in our money and everything. Um, so we've got some engines to sell. We've got pencils to sharpen. All right, I think we're good. I think... Yeah, see, this place has got a little character to it, right? I mean, we're in the snow biome, so, like, this isn't really going to be very good for a bedroom, but... Access to the guards up here. Got the little pool table out here. It's kind of nice, but once again, it's a snow biome, so why would the pool table be out here? But whatever. Maybe because they're always on guard, right? They gotta be, uh... I'll take that. Got to be protecting things. This is kind of this is kind of nice. Hey, what's you, what's up, you? Yeah, put that gun down. All right, you got any jobs? Quest the test. Head to rally point. One point nine kilometers away. That's locked. Now you've got just the workbench. Do you have a forge or anything in here? I'll drink that though. Take your free water, I appreciate it. What do you see, buddy? Anything out here? Not sure that standing on hay bales is a good idea, but... You do you, dude. Nothing there. Knocking the stairs out is a good idea. Yeah, this is a nice little compound, I gotta say. That's locked. Alright, good enough. Alright, so where is this we're going to? Over that way. All right, uh, let's mark this on the map. 
save Eve. Nice, let's get moving. All right, so I've decided to take my bike across country rather than going by road. Just to speed this up a little bit. I think this test, this first one is pro I think is pretty easy. It's not marked on the map. You have to find it. Once you get there, uh, I think, I don't remember if it's a clear or if it's a um, grab the supplies. And then she, you go back, she sends you out on another mission. And then she reveals the location of the first bunker. After the set, well, ah, look at that. After the second uh, mission. So there's the morning. So this type of terrain generation is n okay I like it and I don't like it if it's used for a reason like for instance let's say you've got a remote area there's a POI in a remote area you want to make it difficult to get to then I can understand using this type of terrain but if you've got a large map like we do here I mean it isn't that large but but if you've got a large map and 90% of your terrain is wilderness and it's like this that w I don't why I know you want to like get people to use the roads and I kind of get that but it's like if you have a map and you've just got you want people to just travel roads from town to town then all you're doing is sinking their time right there's no joy in like just driving a road from one city to another and then driving back Driving cross country, on the other hand, it can be really fun. Yeah, you know, you can have certain areas that are like this, but for most of the gender be like this, it just invalidates all your wilderness. Like, no one's going to come here. You know what I mean? So it's just map area that's not used for anything. That's what I find frustrating about it, right? If it was smooth, people would have the, uh, the um, gumption to kind of go across country, check it out. Because uh, sometimes the terrain gen comes up with some pretty interesting um, generation. And it'd be like, you find those places that you'd, you'd want to build a house. But if you had to drive to, through train like that to get there, it's like, well, what's the point? You know? All right, so here's the main road. And I bet you that road goes right back to our town. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to go do this job real quick. And then we'll go back, talk to Eve, we'll end the episode there. And then the next episode we'll pick up again. Hopefully we can pull off the second job and then get to where we need to go to get the main quest line started. But now that I know that Eve is supposedly only in the snow biome, any future Darkness Fall playthroughs, I'll just make sure that wherever there's a snow biome, we're always checking it out. Oh, it's this old place. Okay. All right, we'll take your free cement. So what am I doing? Clear areas. All right, let's put some stuff in the bike. Um, so that's seven, nine, ten, eleven. Right. All right. Well, as long as we don't have any Bernies, we should be just fine. This place is a relatively easy clear. Ammo. Shotgun ammo. I see you, motherfucker. What we got in here? Nothing. Alright, books. What do we got? Grenades. I'm not going to bother looking through anything. We're just going to get this done. Unless there's like ammo piles. Oh, medical piles might have gunpowder. Oh, I'll take the glue. All right, no Bernies, no Bernies, no Bernies. Fucking Bernies. Not that worried about them, but just don't want to have to deal with them. Locked. Ooh, that's unlocked. He's 
Don't hit the... You know... He's deaf as shit, so... I don't know why I'm so worried. Where are you? There you are. Rinse and repeat. I have a bird up there. Shotgun ammo. I know there's... We got one up there. Let's check these doors. Not worried about wanderers. Oh, we got a Bernie in here too. Anybody in the bathroom? Is there anything we needed? Like, absolutely needed. I just make a short work of that out there, eh? I see you hiding. I saw... Ah! Fucker! How'd you get in here? Scared the shit out of me. Thought it was a Zamboni. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let's just burn through all of my ammo before we get to where we're going. Okay, I don't know if that was a zombie waking up or what that was. So this, I think, is the way you're supposed to go. Now we got a guy right here. I was gonna say, is that your head? But then I'm like, ah, it doesn't matter. Took it clean off. Hey. Oh, up this way, I see. Not outside. Shit. Do they hear me? That's the guy downstairs. Okay, there's a guy up here. The green guy. I think we got our stealth maxed out. Oh, that's it. Well, there you go. Now we can go back and talk to the trader. Take that. Take the ammo. And I know there's a pile of stuff in here. A weapons bag, too. I almost didn't see that. I'll take that. Hey, you. I'll be down there in a second. Just hang on. Ah, some stuff to sell. Can we get... There we go. Perfect. Take the repair kit. I'll take a repair kit every time. That works for me. Take that. Let's go deal with these guys the healthy way. Oh, you. Ah. What's up, Mo? Nope. Farmer. For a second there, you look like a demon, dude. But just for a second. All right, where's our bike? Off to the left. Ooh, uh, we want to check yonder. Nothing. All right, let's go back to the trader. We'll get our second set of quests. We're around back, aren't we? Anything good in there? No, I should, though, be grabbing stuff that's got plastic in it. Like, I know we can make, like, grow corn and make plastic, but... Might as well grab all we can while we're out. Especially if it's easy. Tire. This stuff. Another reason why I want to get electrical parts. Alright, now. Um, um, it's not a word. Where do we come from? This way. So I wonder if this road goes around. I bet you it does. And that's where, over that way.
Yeah, see, there's that Krishna temple right there. It says Krishna on the back. If you just kind of pull up. Like, it really is. That's how I found... I, I started a, uh, a Darkness Falls game. And, um... The very first thing, like right across the street from the trader, was that temple. So I, I didn't know that, that that hidden stash was there. So I broke into the temple, discovered the hidden stash, and, and it was a lathe. I had like a lathe on day one. I was like, what? All right, sell it to the trader. <laughs> it's kind of like, ah. Uh, it just means that like you can make a lot of firearms really fast. And that was, wasn't something I was that interested in. Like, I wanted to get some progression going, because one of the things I like about Darkness Falls is the progression. We're going the wrong way. Yeah, we'll take this for a bit, see if it loops around. But yeah, the one thing I like about Darkness Falls is the progression, so... Having the ability to, like, make firearms really early, since, like, all you have to do is, like, pop into a library, grab a bunch of books, you'll get the schematics for a bunch of weapons, and then, like, the only thing you're really missing is the steel, but you can get that relatively easy enough from, like, ammo boxes or... Uh, vending machines or a few other items have steel that you can actually get steel from so it makes it relatively easy to um, to uh, have a half decent weapon really really early on and I didn't I wasn't really interested in that I didn't want to have a p225 on like day two or three you know what I mean Plus, it kinda, it's kind of like, you get that lathe early on, and then when you're finding weapons, you're like, ah. You know, before we go back to the trader. This fucking guy here. Stand up, you fucker. I want to see if you drop a bag. Get up. We ain't done yet. Oh, shit. Yeah, I understand you being pissed, out, but can we get this guy? Ooh. I was hoping he'd drop a bag, but no luck. And there's a guy around here. Sometimes it'll... There we go. A little bit of loot. Never hurt anybody. Coil rifle, coil sniper receiver. It's nice. Let's get back on the bike. Go back to Eve and end this chicken shit episode so we can get on to the next mission. All right, here we are back at Eve. So, um, let's go in, talk to her. I don't think, yeah, she didn't have, she's not really a traitor. I don't think she's, from what I remember from last time we were here, like a second ago. Yeah, so we can get stuff from her. We just can't get... Let's take you... How much are you worth? 271? 237? 414 for all of that. Take that, and we'll take that. Alright. Quest, the favor. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. When we come back... Actually, you know what? Forget We're going to go right over here. And I thought it was going to be farther away than what it is, but it's like right next door. It's parking a lot here. It's in the popping pills. Well, that's kind of easy. You know what? It just it's, it baffles me why it's still doing this. No matter what I do, POIS, whatever. Like, look at the detail in that car. It was great. And then you get like, up close. You know what I mean? It's just that that texture is farther away. And it's smaller, so it looks crisp. And now, and the texture up here, that texture is basically blown up bigger, so it looks like shit. It's the distance texture. Same with that, right? If you get farther away, it looks okay. But that that's fine. I, I don't... It's only certain things, too. Like the shopping carts. They're all fucked up. You know what I mean? Upstairs, eh? Well, let's see who's in here. Now, 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 now. 
Oh, I see you, fucker. Fucking hide. These fuckers. Dirty bastards. Think he can be all glowy and be safe. Forget that idea. Uh, oh. It's like... Huh? Is it in the rafters? No, it has to be on the roof. Oh, you know where it is? Main loot's right there. Well, I really want to get to the end and get to that bunker for the end game for next episode. So let's go ahead and knock this off real quick. Now I think these assholes up here we can deal with. Hellhound doggy. I'm not sure if he was regenerating or not, but he sure as hell took a lot of damage. Sorry, Big Mama. Right up Main Street. It's such a difference. Like, depending on the difficulty you play at, it's just so much harder. If you're playing, like, if you're playing Darkness Falls for the first time, always play on normal difficulty. Like, always do it. Don't. Don't jack it up. I'm on Warrior, which isn't even max. Now, I have played Darkness Fall on an insane difficulty. Um, where the zombies are on jog, not run. If they're on run, it's just like... You just ask them to get killed. Alright, let's pick this real quick. But yeah, like... Always play it on e like the normal game settings. Even the zombie horde knights play on normal game settings. Because eight zombies alive on day seven where they come all night long it can be a severe problem if you've never played darkness falls before you don't know to stack ammo before that night and as much as i want to go down and get that bag i don't think she had anything or he had anything useful so we're going to go back turn this quest in and then when we come back next episode uh we're going to go off to this bunker that she's going to send us to and i didn't bring my fucking key cards I was thinking at home, I'm like, I need my key cards. I'll make sure I bring my key cards. Don't forget to bring those key cards. Oh, I know you're getting this stuff right now, but go in that box and get those key cards. And I never did. I never freaking did. Okay, that's worth a fair bit. And we'll take the military gloves. All right, the reward. There it is. So next episode, it's 2.2 2 .2 kilometers away in that direction. So it's... Is it in this town? No, it's got to be in the burnt biome. 2.2 is probably here somewhere. So what we need to do is we need to find... Ah, fuck. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. And I am going home. Off camera. And get my key card so that when we come back next episode, I'll be rolling up on that... Uh, that location so we can speed this along a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe I did. Actually, I can totally believe I did that. I was too busy trying to figure out what I was going to do, but uh, yeah, we'll go home and get those, and then when we come back next episode, we'll be ready to go, and I'll try and sell some of this stuff off along the way. Alright, so any episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.